Hi everyone, this is Dan, and I'm standing somewhere near Green River, Utah, uh, just south of I-70. You might be able to see the semis on the highway out there. And I'm also standing at the bottom of the ocean. This is the Mancos Shale, which was deposited in the Cretaceous Interior Seaway somewhere between 95 and 80 million years ago. And I'm on a little bit of a very slight ridge in this hilly country, well, low rounded hills. And what I wanted to show you is this. This uh, scatter of fragments is actually the remains of a giant clam, um, probably an inoceramid clam. And these fragments <clears throat> are fairly thick. And they've been broken up and scattered around. Um, but there's not just one here. Look here, on the other side of my map, there's another one. And over here, there's another one. And we go over here, and there are more. Uh, scattered all around, every one of these groupings of, of fragments was once a complete clam. Um, if we go up this ridge, we'll find more. Some of these fragments are much larger, um, showing texture. Um, not many of these show the edges. Um, here's another one, maybe two or three, sitting over here. But we can see the texture of the clamshell um, there on the surface. And this other side is much more rough. Um, on some of these pieces, there are other things. Um, there's a, a curve there. On this one, we've got pitting, which may or may not be from predatory organisms or scavenging organisms. Or, I don't, I'm not sure it could actually be part of the natural, natural texture of the clam. Um, another nice little piece with that pitting on it. And I wanted to show you one more thing. This piece has what looked like little teeth in it. But what it is, um, it's the edge of the clamshell where the two edges shut together and the other side would have had similar teeth that would have interlocked. Um, they're not actual teeth, of course but think of that little distinctive texture um, that you might see on, on smaller clams. Only this is on much a, a much larger scale, and there are quite a few of them um, just all up and down here. So this is the, for some reason, there are a lot of clams here, and, and the presence of these clams is probably, in my opinion, what made this slight ridge, because them being here made it a little bit more difficult to erode the surrounding mudstone. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll talk to you next time.